Welcome to Main Street Moments with the Mount Vernon Downtown Association. I'm Ellen Gamson and I am the Executive Director of the NBDA. We are grateful to Transmedia Vision for their partnership on our new video magazine series. That supports local businesses and spotlights the latest news in our historic downtown. Each episode, we will offer you the latest news and insider insights to the heart of our community, so be sure to tune in weekly. We are excited to be a week into phase two of Safe Start Washington, and with the news that more vaccines are on the way to Skagit County, it feels as if we can all breathe a little easier. 25% indoor capacity is now allowed for our restaurants and for our amazing Lincoln Theater, which opens back up for movies this Friday. Retail and services establishments didn't get a huge boost in capacity allowed in phase two, but we are proud of how so many of those businesses have adapted quickly and safely to online options, phone-in orders, and curbside pickup. Our greater community has really stepped up in recent months to support our businesses, and I wanna take this opportunity to thank you and ask you to keep it up. Another aspect of moving to phase two is the increased hope that we will someday be able to return to offering fun community events that we so enjoy bringing to you, like our seasonal art walks. February is usually the month that includes our annual Birds of Winter art walk, which was the last art walk we were able to produce before the COVID-19 pandemic. This week, we wanna bring you to visit the Perry and Carlson Art Gallery, a place where you can enjoy art in downtown Mount Vernon all year long. Yeah, so I'm Christian Carlson, owner of Perry and Carlson Gallery and shop with my wife, Trina. About five years ago, we got very serious about leaving Seattle uh, for a number of reasons. Largely, um, I was ready for a change in my architectural career and Trina was ready for a change from full-time parenting back into business. And, um, and we started exploring where around the area we would wanna be and Mount Vernon kept coming to the top of our list. We decided to, um, to try our hand at an art gallery. One of the most difficult things about owning an art gallery is first of all, you don't usually expect to make a whole lot of money at it, so you shouldn't be going into great amounts of debt for it. And uh, secondly, you have to know what you're talking about. You have to have awareness of, of the arts, both contemporarily and um, as far as I'm concerned, historically. Everyone is aware in the Pacific Northwest that the Skagit Valley is an important center for fine art. Mount Vernon hasn't been in that game, but it's one of the most vital and, and real cities, meaning a, a full functioning town that we have in the Skagit Valley, and it's intact historically. And so those things had us feel quite bullish about this being a place that could embrace and, and truly support the arts. The convergence of retail and art was somewhat opportunistic because we bought a building that had storefronts and we wanted to be um, good members of the community in the sense of using these storefronts to their maximum potential. And so retail is the classic use for a building like this. It was built as a retail building with three retail bays. We occupy two of the three. We leased the third to House of Style. So there's retail in all three of what would have been originally and appropriately retail. The artwork that I do has changed a lot. So I am an architect and an artist and have been my whole adult life. Um, I've always been an abstract painter influenced by the abstract expressionists in New York where Trina and I lived for seven years um, in, in the 1980s and 90s. And I've been painting as an abstract painter ever since. When we moved to the Skagit Valley five years ago, um, something in me changed and I became utterly fascinated with this landscape and decided to try my hand at landscape painting, which I would have never believed I would be interested in. And I'm hooked and I don't seem to want to do anything else. So currently we're, we have a, an exhibition of Michael Dichter's work. And Michael is well known originally for doing exquisite um, still lifes of, of flowers and moved um, into doing birds, which just captured his imagination about a decade ago. And now he, ex he paints almost exclusively birds in sort of an auto Audubon sense of disembodied from the environment and placed two-dimensionally on a page. And, and he, um, in his training as a graphic artist, really perfected the ability to compose such simple and elegant paintings with almost no context other than the context that the painting surface itself makes for his work. 
So we're both, both Trina and I are, are just in love with his work. It's strong, it's not sentimental, it's, it's very modern in its way. Thank you for joining us today. Please remember that you have until midnight on February 28th to share your story of celebrating love in downtown Mount Vernon and be entered into a random drawing for a beautiful necklace from Pave Jewelry and Design. We look forward to sharing more downtown news and highlighting another fabulous business next week. Until then, keep masking up and supporting local. Thank you. <laughs>